Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge If you're of a certain age, you grew up on them. The cartoon, of course, but also the comics, movies, not those remakes a few years ago, but the real ones from the 90s, minus the third one, and the toys. I had Raphael come to my 8th birthday party. Safe to say, me and my friends were all about G.I. Joe and Ninja Turtles, and not in that order. I even had the soundtrack to the first film, T-U-R-T-L-E Power. And then there were the video games, TMNT on the NES, which was so hard as a kid, but yet didn't matter. It was Turtles. The only thing better would have been able to play it with friends. That's all the Turtles at once. For that reason, TMNT 2, the arcade game, which I first experienced at the arcade, blew my mind. The graphics, the gameplay, the endless quarters it demanded, a side-scrolling beat-em-up with cartoony visuals to match the show, and four-player co-op. It was everything we wanted. When we got it on NES, it looked a little less nice and only two-player co-op, but we still played it to death. We also played TMNT 3, the Manhattan Project, to death. And later, again in the arcades, came the absolute king, TMNT 4, Turtles in Time. Better graphics, combat upgraded, an adventure through time was the high watermark not only for Turtles games, but for brawlers, and in some ways, video games of that era. No follow-up game came, as the Turtles' popularity waned, and we moved on to other games, like Dungeons & Dragons Tower of Doom, but never forgot those beloved Turtles. New cartoons of them came and went, even new films. New games came, but never had the gravitas or general presentation and the passion of those original four brawlers games, and none of them based on the original cartoon series. None of them until now. Tribute Games has made a sequel, and oh boy, is it a banger. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is absolutely a fifth entry in the series, and recaptures the look, feel, and combat style of Turtles in Time, with better graphic, though still holding that 1990s cartoon aesthetic, Music at least on par with the original chiptune tracks, only with modern fidelity and even adding in some curveballs, featuring an absolute killer track from Wake Raekwon and Ghostface Killer of the Wu-Tang Clan, yes, really, and combat that takes what Turtles in Time did well and cranks it up with new special moves, more differentiation between the now six characters, including Splinter and April O'Neil, and yes, six-player co-op, even online, and also Casey Jones as an unlockable character, and even adding in a story mode with leveling up, but keeping the original arcade mode in as well. What Shredder's Revenge has on offer is one of the best games of the year, without question. With over 15 stages and more than that many boss fights, a wide variety of enemy attacks, with classic throwbacks to the old games and some new tricks, as I said, six-player online co-op, this game punches well above its weight class and hits a lot harder than most similar budgeted indie games. The graphics in particular nail the aesthetic of the original games and 90s cartoon but with more detail the sprite work is good and the variety of locations you traverse while not a grand time hopping adventure is a very 90s romp traveling through the streets of new york malls arcades underground airships and more every level is unique and packed with detail and easter eggs the story, told through animated cutscenes mostly, is simple and to the point. Shredder is back for revenge. I guess that might be a spoiler, but it is the game's title, so I don't care. It's not Shakespeare, but it fits the world of the Turtles perfectly and allows for the action to shine. And boy, does it shine. Story Mode, a new edition, has a world map more like TMNT 1, and as you finish a stage, you can level up. It also allows for infinite retries of a level if you fail, and as you level, it unlocks abilities. Arcade mode has a set number of lives and continues and a score, just like the old games. The enemies jump out of scenery. They have a variety of attacks and tricks, and on co-op, they come at you in pretty massive numbers, as it scales the number of enemies for the number of players. 
Each turtle, or friend of turtles, has a unique move set, strengths and weaknesses and special moves. The combat is even more fluid and fun than previous titles in the inclusion of a dodge button, which can be chained to other moves like a drop kick, allows for the game to be even more slightly challenging than the older titles because the skill ceiling is slightly higher. I beat the game on arcade mode, gnarly difficulty, with my son and found the challenge to be nice but never frustrating. Also of note is that in co-op you can high five to share health and pick up a downed ally. Also new to the series but welcome changes. The boss fights steal the show however. Each of the stages ends in a boss fight, and while never Dark Souls hard, they possess a bit of challenge, especially some of the duo bosses, and especially the endgame bosses that I won't spoil. It's all very fun and fluid. I rate games on a fucking buy it, wait for a fucking sale, or fuck it scale. And in the case of... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge, its inclusion in the Xbox Game Pass for PC on day one deserves a mention, but even at the full price of $25 US, this game is a definite fucking buy it for me personally, and anyone with nostalgia for the turtles, as well as kids in general. It's great for parents my age to play with their kids. It's not just a nostalgia trip with rose-tinted goggles. It's a good game in its own right. In fact, possibly being better than the originals that it's trying to emulate, taking what worked 30 years ago and building on it with new tech. This game is an instant buy, even if it's a bit short. So were the originals, but they had replay value, as does this, as a party game. For once, me and the game journals all seem to agree. Shredder's Revenge is a modern classic.